Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I am going to cover the topic Apache Kafka and how we can use the Kafka as a message broker in the Spring Boot. So I am just going to brief you about the Apache Kafka in this video and in the coming video I will uh, brief you how you can use Spring Boot and how we can combine Apache Kafka and Spring Boot together to carry out the work. And I will also try to create the consumer and the producer app in the in the Spring Boot. And with the help of Apache Kafka, how the producer can produce the messages that the consumer application can consume. So I will show you all of this thing. I will cover Apache Kafka, each aspect, and how we can use Apache Kafka in Spring Boot. Uh, if you are aware about the Apache Kafka features, then you will be able to include this Apache Kafka in any of the application or in any of the tool or development tool that you are going to use. So let me go to the next and then let me uh, show you a scenario where uh, the Apache Kafka came into the picture. So let's say uh, when you go to your company okay, and you are trying to develop a, a small system okay, which is having a source system and the target system. So let's say you are going to develop a simple CRUD application which is having a source system as a database which is let's say MySQL and your target system is let's say it's a front-end application uh, which is React okay so and you are managing both of them so in the uh, the back side you are managing the database and the front side you are manage the, managing the application now the data communication between both of the source system and the target system is very easy because you are only having one source system and the one target system. So it is very easy to manage the source system and the target system and the data processing between them. But what if we have multiple source system and the multiple target system which are working together and you have to manage it. So it will be very much difficult to manage those things. So let me go to the next slide and show you the scenario where we have the multiple source system and the multiple target system. So let's say you have 10 source system and you have 10 target system and one source system can send the data to uh, let's say more than one target system and the protocol between target system and the source system is for one system it is a TCP for the second system it is HTTP. So managing each of the application and managing their, their data flow is very difficult. It's very complicated. So this is where the Apache Kafka came into the picture and this is how the Apache Kafka solving this scenario. So coming to the next slide, what does Apache Kafka do? So it does the decoupling of the source system and the target system. So Apache Kafka is application that come as a middle application. So whenever a source system is sending a data, to the target system it don't directly send the data to the target system it's uh, push their data to the apache kafka and then apache kafka will take care of that and then it send the data back to the target system uh, which is the respective target system so the decoupling of the data stream and the system is what apache kafka do and that is why it is very much popular now coming to the next slide, what is Apache Kafka? So Apache Kafka is a distributed streaming platform, publish subscribe messaging system. You can also say a, a messaging system lets you send a message between the processes, application and the server. So this, uh, these are the uh, work that Apache Kafka do. So based upon that, we just, we can name the Apache Kafka like this. Okay. So coming to the uh, next point, Apache Kafka is used for build real time data pipeline and streaming applications and uh, coming to the next point uh, it is describing about the feature of Apache Kafka it is a horizontally scalable it is fault tolerant and fast and run in a production in many thousands of the companies so uh, fault tolerance means if one instance of the Apache Kafka is down then the uh, with the help of the other in instance we can manage the work so that is this this is very much scalable this is very much fault tolerant and many of the companies are using uh, apache kafka in their production now coming to the key component of the kafka so let me name each of the key component of the kafka and explain you so first is the cluster 
ब्रोकर प्रोड्यूसर कंज्यूमर टॉपिक पार्टीशन ऑफसेट कंज्यूमर ग्रुप एंड दर एप्लीकेशन नाउ कमिंग टू द क्लस्टर सो क्लस्टर इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ कंप्यूटर एक्टिंग टूगेदर फॉर अ कॉमन पर्पज सो दैट इज वॉट अ क्लस्टर मीन्स इफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ कंप्यूटर इज कनेक्टेड एंड दे आर वर्किंग टूगेदर फॉर अ कॉमन पर्पज देन दैट इज कॉल्ड अ क्लस्टर नाउ कमिंग टू द ब्रोकर सो ब्रोकर इज नथिंग बट अ पाचे काफ का सर्वर सो अ पाचे काफ का रन एज अ क्लस्टर ऑन अ वन और मोर सर्वर्स दैन कैन स्पैन मल्टीपल डेटा सेंटर एंड इंस्टेंस ऑफ अ क्लस्टर इज ब्रोकर सो अ पाचे काफ का सर्वर इंस्टेंस इज अ ब्रोकर so let's say apache kafka is uh, server is running on more than one uh, cluster so one instance of the apache kafka server is called broker now coming to the producer and consumer so producer is nothing but it is an application uh, which has the job to write the data to the broker so uh, basically the producer is application that write the data to the apache kafka server and com- consumer is nothing but it is a application that read the data from the broker that means read the data from the server apache kafka server or it request the data from the apache kafka server now coming to the topic so uh, let's say let me go back and then explain you so what happens is a producer application just send the data to the apache kafka okay server and then uh, the consumer try to consume the data from the server but let's say we have uh, uh, we have uh, more than one producer okay and everyone is sending the data to the apache kafka server and the consumer is uh, consumers are consuming the data from the server but where they uh, the where the producer produce the data to the server so there come the picture of topic so basically the producer sends the data to the apache kafka server on topics so what is topic so topic is a unique name for the kafka stream so let's say producer is sending one stream of data and where it is sending it is sending to the apache kafka server so on that server we have a, a unique stream on which the producer sends the data which is called topic and the topic can be divided into the multiple partitions so uh there is a pick, there is a name uh, naming called partition there is a term called partition in kafka so whenever the topic is divided into more than one pieces then that is called partitions and each partition can occupy like one partition can not run on more than one computer so one computer one partition can run only one only on one computer so coming to the uh, this is the topic so it is a unique name for the kafka stream topic is a category or feed name to which messages are stored and published if you wish to send a message you send it to a specific topic and if you wish to read a message you read it from a specific topic now uh, let me go to the topic why we need a topic in the same kafka cluster data from a many different source can be coming at the same time example logs web activities matrix so the topic are useful to identify that this data is stored in a particular topic okay producer application write the data to a topic and consumer application read the data from the topic okay so that is why the topic is very unique uh, and let's say one consumer uh, let's say more than one producer is uh, sending the data to the same topic let's say 10 producers and they are sending the data to a topic called topic 1 and let's say we have five consumers and they are consuming the data from the topic 1 now when the consumer one comes uh, to consume the data from topic 1 and he is wanting the data from the producer 1 so how he can differentiate between that how he aware that uh, we are consuming the data from the topic uh, producer 1 on the topic 1 not from producer 2 how how is uh, how the kafka is dealing with all those things so there is a picture of uh, let's say partition offset so partition offset is a uh, is a sequential id okay and based upon that the consumer is able to differentiate 
that which message is coming from which topic sorry from which producer so if you have a topic name if you have a partition number and if you have a offset say offset id then with the combination of all these three the consumer will be able to find out or differentiate the unique stream that is sent on the particular topic okay so this is about the partition offset so partition offset is a let's say message in the partition are each assigned to a unique per partition and sequential id called offset consumers track their pointers via offset partition and topics and tuples okay so this is about partition and offset now coming to the consumer and consumer group so we already have discussed consumer coming to the consumer group uh, let's say if uh, 10 producer has produced uh, some events uh, some data to the topic one and we have the five consumers to consume it let's say this these five consumers are not able to consume all the data then we make a group of 10 consumers that will be working together to consume the data so the group of uh, consumers is called consumer group and they are uh, working on a particular event to complete that so consumers can read the message starting from a specific offset and are allowed to read from any offset point they choose this allows consumer to join the cluster at any point of the time consumers can join a group called consumer group consumer group includes the set of consumer processes that are subscribing to a specific topic and what about replication so in kafka replication is implemented at the partition level helps to prevent the data loss so we are uh, keeping the replica of the partition so that we whenever one partition is lost then we can uh, track that uh, replica and then get the data so to avoid the data loss we are replicating the uh, partitions so this is about uh, the terms in the kafka in the coming videos i will tell you how you can install the kafka on the windows and then we'll try to uh, create the consumer and the publisher app and we'll try to get the communication between them so if you like the video please hit like and subscribe the channel